In the blending several textures with Vertex Alpha Guide, we went over the basics, so this guide will go into less detail. If you are on version 2021 or above, for GTA materials to work, set to Max Legacy and restart 3DS Max. Start by creating a plane and configure your displacement to your likings. I want fewer polygons to work with, so I'll use Retopology modifier to fix this for me. I'll use Desert Dirt as base layer. Unwrap your UVs. Clone the model, which will be the second layer for grass. Set up the material and render settings for iterating your work. Extrude to offset the layer slightly. Begin painting your Vertex Alpha Mask. Make another clone for the grassy sand blend texture. We can paint this on the outskirts of the grass layer and perhaps some small patches inside of the grass to break it up into a grassy sand appearance.
When happy with the result, remove any black faces as they won't be rendered in-game, and are therefore bloated geometry. Copy channel 9, data to vertex alpha channel. The reason for this is the two channels are responsible for rendering vertex alpha during day and night each. Set up your vertex colors. I am just adding gray color to both. Export both without light flag and with vertex pre-lights and extra vertex colors. Vertex alpha cannot render with light flag, which is the setting that adds skylighting and some exposure to models. Export the base terrain collision. With MTA, you can reuse the base terrain collision for the alpha blend as well, but if you are modding single player, you will instead need to create a separate collision for the alpha blend. To do so, import your collision into Steve M's collision editor and click Create LOD. Delete the original collision and save as collision. As alpha blend is only an overlay, it won't need its own collisions, but only collision bounding box and sphere. <laughs> 